My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can delete a data row from a data table. It's an important skill to master because we will work with data tables a lot in UI path. That is when we work with Excel sheets and so. So uh, you better learn this and I strongly encourage you to open up UI path yourself and do the operations with me because in that way you will learn a lot. And just pause the video, it's designed for that. So, and if you liked the video and enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So let's get started. I created uh, some sample data for us here. That's uh, two columns, ID and name. We got four rows, one, two, three, four, and with corresponding names. Say that we wanna delete every row where the name is Bill, sorry Bill, nothing personal. Um, so that's uh, our mission today. And remember, this could be a huge Excel sheet. Uh, now we only got four entries, so we can do it manually. But however, uh, when the sheet gets bigger, we want to do it automatically. So let's go to UiPath. Uh, we'll open the main workflow. And first, we'll need to read this Excel uh, data. So close it down. And then under Activities, find a read range. Under Workbook here, drag this guy in. The path, that's just the path where we placed our Excel sheet. So minus new Microsoft Excel worksheet. And uh, the sheet name, minus name sheet one, change yours if yours is named otherwise. Then we'll delete this range here. And we want to output this to a data table so we can work with it. So go to output over here in properties and control K. And then we can call it DT data. And we can go down to variables and verify that we indeed created a variable called DT data of the variable type data table. So far, so good. So now we um, created a data table with the same data as the Excel sheet. And then we want to create um, an array of data rows uh, that we want to delete or we want to select them at least. So we will go down to variables and then we will create a new variable called array delete. And this one will be an array of data rows. So here in the variable type, click that, click the array of T and then up here, uh, we will browse for types. Let me drag this in, search for data row and be sure that uh, you choose this one under system data, uh, data row, not anything else, choose this one and then click OK. And uh, now we created uh, an array of data rows. So uh, we can uh, close this one again. Then we can start to assign the rows that we wanna uh, delete to this array. So drag in and assign. And um, that one will be the array, array that we just deleted, sorry for mumbling. And um, we will specify that it needs to be where whenever the name is Bill, so uh, that will be the DT data, and then the sorry the select, then parentheses, and then quotation marks, and then we will have the hard uh, brackets, and then we will say name like this equals, and then single quotations Bill single quotation. So this one will uh, select every every row where the name is Bill and then store it into this array. So now we just need to loop through this array and delete everything that's there because this is only the, the, the rows with the name Bill. So let's find a for each here and um, down here and drag this guy in. We'll delete this body here and then uh, mark for each again. So for each item in and then that's the array of data to be deleted. And up here in the type argument, change the, uh, it from object to data row. Be sure you don't take the array of data rows, but actually the data row here, like that. So, and then we just need to have a method that we delete everything as we loop through because that's every item. Remember, it's only the files that we want to delete that is in this array. So I will choose uh, an invoke method. Here, drag this guy in. And first up here in the parameters, we will choose the collection, click the three dots, then create argument. That will be of the type data row. Again, choose the right one. And the value that will just be uh, the item because remember we loop through like this and then click OK. Then we can have the target object and the target object that's just the data rows in our, uh, just the rows in our DT data. So we 
rows like this and then the method name that will be remove so this one is sufficient now we uh, identified which uh, rows we want to delete store them in an array loop through them and delete them now we just need to print it out to uh, excel again so we'll find a right range on the workbook drag this guy in the workbook path i'll just print it to the same excel worksheet as we had before so open i think we'll choose sheet 2 so we don't uh, change data or anything delete this range then data table that's just the data table that we manipulated up here that's the uh, dt data like this and then we want to add headers so now we can run it and verify that we indeed deleted uh, the row where the name was built so we can minimize this we can open the new microsoft excel worksheet worksheet where our data all our data will be and the sheet one that was our original sheet you see that one is here and sheet two we should delete bill here and we can see that mission is indeed accomplished accomplished so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up that will really help me a lot that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure to check out the new videos that i made about uipath have a good day bye bye